gotta be real, right? I can feel it. This is the curse of the black genius in a world that worships the black penis. So if you black, it means you should be packing. So either pack that or pack heaters. And the only thing small is of your back where you pack it. You never wear backpacks unless that sack of weed is underneath the books from your math class that you half ass when you read it. This is the curse of the black genius, bilingual by nature. See how easily we switch a pretense so you think us half decent. But the speech you call bad is black English. Heard through black folklorists and black singers working to reverse the stories that of the English told us when they stole us and we believed it. Planted it so deep in the culture we can't leave it. This is the curse of the black genius, the herd of black teens, the burden of black leaders, the purposeful subversion of black achievement. Now we riding dirty, swerving off the path the king went. It seems that crack in black regions made that crack in our history that's seamless. From marching in black legions to Negro pleas. I don't wanna hear that black king shit. So this is the curse of the black genius. A shame like he covered in black lesions. Cause the black see be friends with tease him. So we follow their natural black sequence. You know those fresh men who swear they hardcore fearless that they scared of being sophomore. And that's treason. So we dropped out of high school and never became a black senior. In more ways than one, check the pun. Just because he acted like one of his buddies, more like an understudy. Act like he understudy, but he'd overstudy. Was trying to become somebody, never fully understood. And this is the curse of black intellect. The car crash was smart and black intersect. That interrupts the images that's depicting us. Seen on TV screens, radio, internet. But here I am to intervene. Yeah, here I am to interject. Cause yes, I am a black genius. Oh, yes, I am a black genius. Yes, I got them black jeans. Yes, black hoodie, black shirt, and black jeans. Yes, but yes, I am a black genius. Yes, 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 victory truly belongs to. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. I was never the likeliest candidate for this office. We didn't start with much money or many endorsements. Our campaign was not hatched in the halls of Washington. It began in the backyards of Des Moines, in the living rooms of Concord, in the front porches of Charleston. It was built by working men and women who dug into what little savings they had to give $5 and $10 and $20 to the cause. It grew strength from the young people who rejected the myth of their generation's apathy, who left their homes and their families for jobs that offered little pay and less sleep. It drew strength from the not-so-young people who braved the bitter cold and scorching heat to knock on doors of perfect strangers and from the millions of Americans who volunteered and organized and proved that more than two centuries later, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people has not perished from the earth. This is your victory. This one goes, goes out to all the grand artists, all the, all, all the MCs, all the writers, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make their mark in this world, man. It be the reason for my art. The need inside me to leave a legion of a scar. A mark of me being.